So official when I'm out here in these streets. So official. It ain't no cap if I don't fuck with you, I tell you. I'm so official when I'm hopping on these beats. I'm, on these beats. I'm speaking facts and only tell you what I know. Okay. I'm so official, got me looking like a panda. Damn. Black and white, I got a bitch for every stripe. I'm so official, I got prejudice, I know. I they all dead, but try to take, I'm trained to go. So official when I talk, so official when I walk. You're not official when it come to your name, so play your part. In the hood with no heart, and you ain't even got no spot. I'm coming around. What's going on YouTube? You already know it's your boy Lil T. Ah, back in full effect. You already know how I'm. Okay, <coughs> man, check it out, check it out, check it out. That was my fat feast, though. That was my fat feast. But yeah, we got um my 600 pound like parody, man. Now it came out a year ago, but it popped up on my um on my explore page. So I was just like, fuck it, I want to see it. So, yeah, I just wanted to watch with me. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Living at this size is honestly hell on earth. I can barely get up out of bed in the morning. I trouble sleeping. I have trouble eating. It's hard for me to catch a breath. <laughs> but they be eating. I, can't barely... I never understood. Me, yo, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Me. Uh, sorry. I don't feel bad for some of them niggas on that show. You can get mad at me if you want to, but I don't feel bad for none of them niggas on that show. Because, look, you gotta think, bro. They be on that bitch crying, talking about how they can't lose weight, how they just want to lose weight so bad, but having fucking like 12 fucking pizzas and 36 fucking buffalo wings in the bed and shit, like, and then the family just be feeding the shit out of them. I'm not letting my pews get that big. What? You hungry? You got to get your shit yourself. Get that shit yourself. Fuck. Yes, I do. <laughs> Smaller than me. You have no idea what it's like living my life at this size. I ain't been your size since senior prom. It's hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking the muffins. He fucking that muffins and cherry coke That's why you're big as that big. Come on, Keith. You gotta be eating better than that. You know the doctor told you not to be eating better than that. It pops. Oh, it's oh, weird. Blueberries. Yeah, he did. And look, I have cherry coke. That's a fruit. You must not know your coke. Look, if you're not happy with, with that, then look, I got a whole bunch of other stuff. Blueberry pop sauce. That's a fruit. So keep my That's a fruit. He <laughs> you know his shit for that. For I try helping him out. The rest of the family doesn't want to help out. They see him as a lost cause, kind of. But I'm, I'm really trying to be there for him and push him back down to, like, you know, a healthy just lifestyle. And Sadie yeah. bought me these pumpkin spice muffins, and it's pumpkin. That's a vegetable. Wait, pumpkin a vegetable? Is pumpkin a vegetable or fruit? I don't know. I thought it was a fruit. I could be wrong. Oreos, I gotta look that up. Don't touch those. Don't touch the Oreos. They're gone. I've thrown them out. No, those are for the potluck. Why do you need a whole bag of chocolate chips? You can't. Hey, I'm not even eating those, but don't touch them. No, I'm about to get up. But I need to be reimbursed if you're going to be throwing away all my food. What is this? <laughs> he really fucked that boy up for the. Kidding me? What the fuck? Oh, I'm 
the Girl Scouts come over? What's all this candy? I cannot believe this. <laughs> Sadie, can you bring me the muffins again? Can anyone hear me? I heard you, I heard you. <laughs> Thank you, good Lord. God bless your soul. So, I God met Keith in junior year of high school. We met in math class, and we've just been best friends ever since. I think he started gaining weight after his dad passed away, and it was like a coping mechanism for him to eat so much food. I try to keep him in good spirits as much as I can. I live really close to him, and I'm his closest friend since he doesn't have many friends. His family is very dysfunctional, and they're not really around, so he only just really has me. I don't know. I'm, I'm at a crossroads of what i got to do, and I'm trying to get a surgery, the gastric bypass surgery. Keith has been doing jack shit the use a week. <laughs> His doctor appointments today. <laughs> I'm mad this nigga really changing clothes, though. <laughs> That's how they be getting <laughs> So now, right to the doctor, I was supposed to have lost 60 pounds in the one month. I was trying my best, and I was sticking to the diet as best as I could. So I hit that goal, and then we can uh, move towards the surgery. Let's find out. The cap. Why they got to do that, though? I always want to know that. Why they got to lose that certain amount of weight before they can get surgery? Your goal is to lose 60 pounds by this week. Let's uh, step on the scale and see where we're at. You dang weight, my nigga. This way. Okay. So the scale said 817, actually. Um, how did that happen? I have no 817. Clue. Oh, I could have gained weight. That doesn't make sense to me. Look, now, I don't know what happened. I'm trying to think of what might have happened. I'm pretty sure that was the water weight that I was carrying. So, so I had a few sorry, days. Tell me this. Uh, what did you eat today? We were in a rush, so then my friend just picked up Raisin Cane's. I only had two, well, the chicken pieces, though. We're going to need to put you on a strict regimen from today going on to next month. Is that something you can do every day? Okay, I'll drop the weight. Okay. <laughs> Eating the shit out them cookies, <laughs> bro. This motherfucker big as hell. <laughs> like, bro, just stop eating. Well, the doctor said I gotta lower sugar, so could you bring me those ruffles, those bag of ruffles right there? Are you sure you can have ruffles? Those? I'm stressed out right now, Robbie. Can you please just bring me those? Nigga ain't say a vegetable yet. You ain't fuck that out. bag up. Don't get this shit together, that motherfucker going down. <laughs> Welcome back, Keith. Happy to see you here. So we started off at 800. Remember that? You got a shirt that say hungry. Hungry. Really <laughs> cool, but I'm excited to see where we're at today. You were at 817 a couple weeks ago, and you were supposed to drop 60. Remember? Mm -hmm. Let's see where we're at. Cross my fingers here. All right. 817. 850. <laughs> I have no clue what happened. What do you mean you have no clue? <laughs> You already pulled something out his drawer as well. Damn. Good luck. Okay. Hey, for I go to therapy like that? Whoa, hit his titties. If you care about like this video. Hey, man. That's going to do it for my 600 pound life. <laughs> Damn, man. Pray for my man Keith, man. He got to drop that weight, bro. Yo, we at 850. Damn. Yo, I'm going to size my motherfucking car. <laughs> but, hey, man. Great video. Um, Let me know what you want to see down in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.